We have an IoT sensor as part of System Health Lab and Living Lab program. And this is the blue box. It's a accelerometer package that is used to measure vibration for condition, mon for condition monitoring of machines. And we have two questions here. The first one is, how does it perform compared to the other sensors? And how does it perform by its own, especially with machines in site conditions? So to answer that question, we basically compared this with a couple of um, accelerometer package that we can get commercially. So Slamstick is one of them, and the the conventional piezoelectric vibration measurement system with the accelerometer and the um, BNK module. These of the each of these have their own way of collecting data and their own systems, and so we compared. Um, MEMS and piezoelectric accelerometers and their performance of it when they put into a package. And we post per system computer to get time domain frequency domain data because this is where the real information and the peaks, the time domain um, root mean squared values mean something in the condition monitoring. And then we and then in living lab we can trial your sensors using our facilities and one of them would involve say a shaker this provides us a controlled environment where we can measure the noise floor because we can isolate all the external noises and input a vibration amplitude and frequency that we want and alternatively we can use fans and pumps that uh, basically gives us um, an indication of that how your IoT, IoT sensors would perform under site conditions. And we can set up a, a, a test with induced vibration. So for instance, we can put some clip weight in the fan to induce imbalance, or we can uh, contaminate, say, one of the bearings to indicate a damaged bearing. Check the performances of these. So for instance, in the vibration shaker, we found out that most of the devices, no matter what, no matter if it's a MEMS or a piezoelectric, it shows up similar results. But you would be able to see that noise floors are quite different for each of them because of their resolution and their quality of sensors and uh, analog to digital conveyors. For the fan tests, we induce imbalance by adding a clip weight in one of the blades of the fan, and we basically increase the driving frequency's amplitude by 10 times, or 20 decibels. And as you can see in the graph, we got similar values between the MEMS and the piezoelectric accelerometers. And we can say here that the MEMS and the piezoelectric accelerometers have um, similar results and si similar um, use case and you can use them to detect um, imbalanced fans and this is one of the things that um, living lab can do for you is to try your iot sensor and at the same time understand how it performs in site conditions